Hello, my name's Wallace. Or, or people call me George. Uh, I, I am the owner of the Zombie Adoption Centre. You, you, you want to come and have a look inside, yeah? Well, so basically, right, I, I'm the owner of the establishment of the, of the ZEC, uh, and I do everything. I, I mean, I clean them, I feed them, I wash them. I mean, when the army came along, you know, and wiped a lot of them out after uh, that infection came and did its shit, I mean, I, they didn't fucking kill them all, did they? And I thought, well, that is rude, isn't it? I mean, I voted Labour, right? And what, are they all... They're not human no more. I mean, zombies have rights too, don't they? Do they? Do they have rights? No. Just remember, right, that they are like little newborn babies, right? That have been dropped on their head maybe six or seven times in a row. Yeah, and they've got a taste for fucking human flesh, you know. That'll keep you on your toes, that will. You know, it, it, it is a challenge. Right, steady on, Brutus. This is one of the group. This is Brutus. He's, uh, he's one of my favourites, ain't ya? They don't tell the others, like, you know. <laughs> no, don't fucking tell the others, right? Anyway, hey, you might be thinking to yourself, you know, what do I want a zombie for? Well, you know, he's brilliant, right, getting rid of pests, they are. You've got about thinking about having one yourself because you've got a, a dead cat in your garden, he's gone, you know what I mean? He'll fucking eat it. You've got dog shit, you've got cats, you've got rats, anything you like, he'll have them, you know what I mean? But he'll even take that pigeon, you know, the one that shits on your windshield, he'll have that fucker, no problem, you know what I mean? But if you've got wasps, steady on, steady on. If you've got wasps, right, you're fucked. You've got to go to the council, you can't deal with it at all, you know what I mean? Get in their ears and all that shit. And, and fucking ants. Fuck ants. Fucking ain't them, I do. Anyway, he's Brutus. He's brilliant. He's a bit different than the other ones, you know what I mean? Because he likes to taste of roadkill. Where there's Dallas, right? Dallas, now he likes wet grass on his skin. And then there's, there's Kevin. Kevin's a twat. He's going to be hard to get rid of. Oh, shit! Let me introduce you to the rest of the lot. This is Tina. Yeah. Tits. This is Nasha. Found her fucking jogging in an hospital. <laughs> Steady on, girl. Yeah, this is Backrash. Come here, come here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, he stinks of shit, he does. I mean, the thing is, right, they can't communicate, you know what I'm saying? Because. Well, they're fucking zombies, ain't they? <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you can't give them stupid names, can you? Because when the kids come down, you've got to impress them. You know, you can't call them ball bag and cock rot. And they just don't look right on the, the adoption certificate, you know what I mean? One day, I reckon it will go mainstream. I mean, fucking business ain't brilliant right now. But I believe one day that all the stars will have zombies. That bloke from EastEnders, he's going to have one and all. Jim Carrey and that bird with the fat ass, you know, Kim Kardashian. And when they do, I tell you, I'll be proper fucking pleased because, you know, I just want them to have a nice home and shit. Mind if I get on, it's feeding time. Here you are. It's feeding time, come on. There you go. Here, get that. You know, you've got to watch yourself sometimes, you know, they go fucking mad, you know. You've got to assert yourself, let them know who's the alpha, and that's me, isn't it? I mean, they're soft as shit, really. I mean, they'll try and bite you, but they can't fucking help it, can they? I mean, it's in their nature, isn't it? Ow! They fucking hurt you, daft twat! Well, that's your fucking fault, isn't it? You idiot. I've just fucking fed you! Hey, see here. I mean, once a bit me, you know. Well, I've had a few fucking big chunks taken out of me, but it comes with the territory, you know what I mean? You, uh, you lot want a cup of tea or something? Where, where do you want me? Here? Is that all right? Um, if you've been bit, how come you're not a zombie yourself? Well, I've been told I'm, I'm uninfectable. Oh, so you're immune? Yeah, yeah I'm uninfectable. Y yes, that means you're immune to the virus. Oh, 
I'm, I'm uninfectable, what are you fucking saying? That you can't turn into a zombie. Yeah, I'm uninfectable, ain't I? That means you're immune. Listen, right, you're trying to fucking make me look like a knob with all your fancy words, you twat. Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't, didn't mean to cause you any offence. Um, uh, so, anyway, moving on. Uh, my next question is, can zombies get ill? Um, do they need medical attention? Oh, no, they're immune to all that sort of shit, aren't they? All right, oh, we we'll just having a bit of tea. <laughs> all right, all right, fucking sit down, sit down. That was very rude. Apologise, that was very rude. Um, why are you having dinner with a zombie? He's not a fucking zombie, all right? Is everything all right, George? He's not a fucking zombie. He's my fucking son. We were having a nice family fucking meal here, and we can't keep doing that if twats like you keep pestering me, can I? Oh, we're sorry, George, we, we didn't know. Oh, you're right. I'm fucking sorry, all right? It's, it's all the death and the bodies and shit, you know what I mean, and the zombies. I mean, it fucking changes a man, doesn't it? You know what I mean? Seeing him dying and come back to life, it, it's like a fucking second chance, you know? I'm... I'm so sorry. It must be very hard for you. Thank you. Oh, I, I really appreciate that. Fucking really appreciate that. I do. You know, I open this place, right, to give these a second chance. You know, he's my fucking son, isn't he? I failed him once, didn't I? I don't want to see the fucking army kill him for good, you know what I mean? I mean, he's a good lad. You don't mean no harm, do you? You don't know me, no harm, do you, son? Hey? Well, at the end of the day, you know, I just want to give them a second chance, you know? I mean, after all they've been through, you know, help them out a bit, give something back to the community, you know, maybe even reunite a family or two. You know, that would make me happy. Yeah, is that it?